Does it count toward the quorum? It counts, but it doesn't count. Yes. Yeah. All right. Are we good? All right. Six, three, three, one. We'll get started. So we had our last meeting was uh, a public forum, and then we had the meeting following it. So I just want to look back and talk about meeting minutes, make sure that we're, we're good with those. So we can close those up. So we had the meeting minutes from our okay. August meeting that we tabled, <coughs> and then the meetings from the September 18th meeting. Oh, you guys have a chance to take a look. Thanks for your patience. I did not get to see the minutes. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I only have the 18th printed, but do you want to take a sure. look? Sure. Yeah. We can table it as know. usual. I know. I'm fine if we want to table. We can just catch ourselves back up. Next time we meet, if you're good with that. Oh, I did read these. Okay. <laughs> I took your glance from low and I looked fine. They looked fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah I didn't read this. Okay. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, having a great. So, do we want to. What are your thoughts? Do we have any additions, omissions, changes? To the, I'll start with September 18th, most recent ones. I move to accept the masses. Okay. Thank you. Second. All right, good. Um, then we had September, I mean August. Was the meeting before the August 20 something? So sorry. The last meeting before that was. August 28th. Good yeah, we yeah, got August 28th. So, I remember looking at those. They look fine. That's when we talked about moving forward with um, the meeting for the public forum, the plan for the public forum. Any questions, concerns about those from August 28th? Not for me. No, not for me. All right, everyone motion. I'll move to accept the Thank you. Second. Thank you. Everyone okay? Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Let's move on. Um, so thanks all for pulling together the draft of the uh, withdrawal plan. Um, so I think we'll spend a good chunk of time talking about this, any additions and changes that we might want to make. Um, I do want to circle back with um, the requirements from the RSA too to make sure we're checking all those boxes. Um, but first, do you want to give an overview of the Summersworth Public Forum? Uh, sure. Uh, the the Summersworth Public Forum was um, not very well attended. Better than sixteen? No. Ooh. No, it's more Rollins for residents than. <laughs> there, there were two Rollins, or, or three, three. It, it ended up being three Rollins for withdrawal committee meetings, yes, who were there. The, but they were very pleasant to us. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. the, the long and short of it is that the Summersworth uh, Withdrawal Committee has decided that they are uh, going to support the Rollins for withdrawal committee, the proposal. Uh, they are. are comfortable at um, letting their committee run out. Their their appointment started in January, so ultimately their committee would run out in January. At that particular time, they are going to approach the city council to reappoint another withdrawal committee. Uh, so they will have an active committee come April, March, April, when your your plan is scheduled to go up for a vote. Uh, if it should pass over here, then that's the way that they would move forward in supporting that. If it doesn't pass, then they have already stated that they would um, further explore withdrawal. Hmm. That about sum up everything? That sums it up. You gave the summary right here, and uh, <laughs> good summary. I guess it would have to be explained to the stakeholders here that voting to contract with Summersworth would be keeping our services currently as they are, and the 
easiest thing to do. It's just, you know, because then we'd be left hanging and have to go through all this again. So I think it's important that they know that, that there really isn't a choice. Well, we, it, it, what will be on the ballot will be the recommendation of this of this committee. Um, committee. The school board will, will uh, certainly do it as, as recommended by the withdrawal committee, you know, kind of thing. It's the lexicon of how it is presented to the voter. Yes, to 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 withdraw from SA fifty six and contract back with Summersworth. And by then, and, and that's all it should say. Well, well, well yes. yes. Yes, and then the explanations as people ask are simply, and, and it's not, and it's not because it's the easiest. It's because our choice. I mean, we did quite a bit of work to make it right, our right. choice of what of where we went now. Now it's a very soft landing for us and for Summersworth. Yeah, so, I think it's a good landing yeah. because our, our, we didn't have that many options really. Right. That's what I meant by the oh, easy see, choice. Yeah. We we didn't have. Wasn't like you know they were knocking down our door. So. <laughs> So I think it's good for everybody. It's good for Summersworth, it's good for Rollinsworth. Well, to that end, I mean, you're going to see in the plan, too, as I was going through the plan, I was referencing a, no a number of other plans that had been done around the state, mm -hmm. and some of them are pretty complex. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they've got buildings to split and kids to, to move around and, and assets and liabilities. This is clean. Very clean, and, clean. and simple. I mean, I'm I was looking at this plan and I, I was debating on what else to put in it. And I mean, it, it's a pretty. I, because yeah. your contract and the service is basically for the same cost to the same entity, there's really not much change. So, I mean, it, it is a pretty soft one. Yeah. I mean, it's the same SAU uh, for, formula for, for being part of the SAU that we've been part of for close to 60 years now. I, mean, I don't know when the formula, the formula probably changes on the state level, but otherwise it's... So how do you put that in a contract? We simply say that we will use the state formula. Oh, that's the money part, but yes. I mean the services provided from Summersworth to Raleigh, how do, how do we, how does that work? What do we put in it? Is it just keep it status quo? I mean, is that... It'll be, it'll be that we would expect full superintendent services as, 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 as defined in... <laughs> any other SA or the current SA? Well, in the, the, current, in the RSA. Yeah. Okay. I, I, mean, I think that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it, but lawyers will also determine. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> the, it, it, it's up to the boards to negotiate, and then you're absolutely right. We're going to kick it in front of the, the lawyers and just make sure that it's it's worthy. It's what it is. Yeah. It's just what we have, not less no. than what we have. But I think we want to make sure that we document that because well that's well that's it. it has to be in the contract yes. right so we're not going to say like for like we're going to say we expect full time this 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 right and uh, well we'll see well you know let's not get into contract negotiations right yeah, now right and this contract we'll do that, that. We'll do that. Right. <laughs> I think actually that was an outstanding question who are we negotiating with. Well, that's interesting. When I asked the, the lawyers, they said, well, that's an interesting question. Oh, uh, good. Oh, good. good. <laughs> but you're really negotiating with the Summersworth School Board because ultimately they are going to be the entity if you should pull out. And if you don't pull out, then there's no negotiations that would kick in anyway. So it, it would be that, that group. Okay. And, and I, I tried to reference in, in this plan the contract, because I assume that that's going to be negotiated in the near future and then just inserted in the contract when we submit it to the state. Right. Do you think we'll have, we'll have a contract, uh, an outline of the contract before we submit it to the state? Um, I, I hope so. I mean, my recommendation would be that, um, I, I kind of did a tentative timeline here, of that January 27 is when the Warren articles are due and so if we back that up the State Board of Education has 60 days to decide on this so really we need to we need to have negotiations completed and a contract approved to be, to be included in this by middle of November or so that way I can notify the State Board to get it on the agenda for uh, either late November or early December. Do we, I guess I'm questioning the necessity of having the contract complete for that. Um, 
I don't think I don't think it has to be complete, but it, it would be nice. We're going to yeah. want it for the warrant article so that people will know what the cost roughly. And the cost will be easy because the SAU budget will be. The SAU, we always know by November, December, what the SAU budget is for the okay. following year. So, so we will we already know then what Rollinsford portion of that is okay. because it's not based on. On a, on, on a future year or even the current year enrollment, it's based on the year before's enrollment, in okay. essence. So if, if that makes any sense to you. It's okay. You know, I guess I don't, I'm not concerned so much about the money piece because I trust how that will work out. It's maybe nuances that are covered and that we take that we take for granted that, you know, teachers are calling to find out about their 10 40 forms or what, you know, just any of those little things that happen day to day that we wouldn't want to lose. Right. Now, again, I don't want us to get into how we're going to negotiate things necessarily because we did the school board that the, you know, has yeah. been, uh, you know, the form group is going to do that. It, it may be Aaron and myself, it, it may not. We don't know how the school board's going uh, to decide to do mind. that. But much like um, the First Amendment, once you start listing the things you do and don't want, you may rule out a whole bunch of things. So it may be simply things that are in the RSA. We may simply make it be that broad or, um, or, or language like that, rather than trying to list every, yeah, trying to think of every little thing, and then we might miss something. I wouldn't list it. I would be more right. usual and customary as performed currently kind of thing. Well, yes, it'll be that. It'll yeah, be, it's it, general. And that's what it will, it'll, it will be. It will be a, a legal, it has to be legally worded yeah. you know, so that we receive um, the services that are uh, necessary. Yeah. So what I, what I would like to do is to, I, I've got a summer's worth board meeting tomorrow night, so mm -hmm. I'd like to update them through my superintendent's report and, and kind of let them know that they will be contacted by, if it's your direction, by the uh, Rollinsford board shortly for the purposes of negotiating the contract. Now, should we get stuck someplace, I don't anticipate that that's going to happen, but should we get stuck someplace, then I think that we certainly could submit this without it to the State Board of Education, but I'm hopeful that we could get that done to include it. I think that that does a couple of things. I think it helps out with the thoroughness that the state is going to want to look for, and it also helps out because we can almost start informing the public immediately. Even before, you know, we can we can let the public know what's in the contract and what's in the plan prior to it even final approval of the state. That'll just give us another one, two months of, of getting information out so they, they're well informed. Um, all right. So with that said, I think you have a meeting this week as well. We do on Thursday, so I don't right. know if we need something formal from the from this committee to say all right you know we, we, we know what our we know what what our what the committee is recommending and, and you know, over to you school board right you know, I don't know if you want to come and just you know do, do a present you know say well, here it is <laughs> or, um, or, or <laughs> you know, I don't want to be there we can, uh, no, we, we can take it to the board I mean, I don't know if you want to be or not it's entirely up to you I mean it can be you know, there and then um, yeah, whatever you need, I can be there Thursday night, if that makes sense. Sure. So I can do that. Um, so at that point, we should have probably the next draft of this with a placeholder for the contract, which would then help trigger your next steps in the school board. Right. Well, we know our, our next steps are simply to work on the contract. Oh, right. Because we're, well, the, the board is not responsible for this. Correct. Right. So yep. uh, it's to work on the contract piece of it so, right. so that it can go in. Okay. So with that in mind, um, do we want to walk through this? Sure. This, this really is meant to be just a draft, so yeah. you know, don't don't hesitate to provide input for me then. Um, and again, I tried to. I, I, I started off with, with a much more in-depth table of contents, and a lot of it just didn't fit what you're <laughs> trying to do because there, there's, like I said, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, executive summary obviously explains itself in the introduction um, of, of the members along the way. Pretty explanatory with that. Now the background piece, I, I, that's certainly not done. I, I basically just clipped and pasted.
based off, off of both of the, the websites, and, and you may want to change it completely. Well, I was, I was wondering about more a, 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 a background of the SAU, not a background of the two different communities. Um, and, and, and the only reason I say that is there's really a, a, there, there's a long history of, of the SAU when it used to be uh, the Oyster River Cooperative in it, and, um, and it used to have other things, and, and eventually it got winnowed down to being just Summersworth and Rollinsford. And I think that Summersworth and Rollinsford have been in it from the beginning. So, I mean, that kind of thing might be a sort of interesting history. Rather than the two communities, I, mean, I don't know. Do you feel to like me, you that can, feels that way? I, do you feel like you can put something like no, that I together? No, I don't feel because like I'm, I'm, I'm not sure where I get that information. I know, and I went looking. I went <laughs> googling today, and I couldn't find it anywhere. You never, I, I had the same but, kind of feedback about having more of a history of the SAE, but even if it's more more recent history, you know, Rollinsford and Summersworth have been in the SAE for X years. Um, Rollinsford used to tuition the students in, and then in 2000 and whatever, um, okay. that transition. Just the sort of most recent history of that kind of yeah. explains, well, why are they evolving mm -hmm. apart, and you know, what kind of was the... Uh, I, I can certainly put with that together. Can you throw me any information, email me any information that you have on... Uh, like how long you think they've been in there? What are the dates that you act that uh, some yes, uh, some of that history? And I'm pretty sure I can put my hands on. I'm about 100 percent sure. Uh, came up when we when we um, withdrew from the area agreement when Rawls were withdrew from the area agreement. Okay. So a lot of that information I think I can find there, even though I wasn't on the board for that. I think there's a. I think I have. I think. Anyway, so I know for the 40 years I've been in town. It's always been summer sort of around the It was Oyster River in 1979, so they kind of pulled away, I think, in the mid to late 80s. But it, when I got here in 79, it was Oyster River, it was Rollinsford. It was sending kids, yeah, busing kids to St. Thomas. I'll, I'll see what it I was busing kids to Dover. I mean, you know, <laughs> right. you know, we have residents in town who, who went to Dover, who went yeah. to who are older, who went to Dover. Yeah. Yeah. To, so to, it's been to, Bur a, to Berwick yeah, Academy. I mean, they went, yeah, way back. Right. But so. it, it's a, always been a unit. Yeah. Problems for the summer school, yeah. So it's nice to, to, that, yeah. to continue. Yeah. But anyway, yes, I'll see what I can find okay. to, to share with you. I'll, I'll read you that. See if anyone, else can, if anyone else can find anything. Great. Right. Everything I know, I like to <laughs> I'll, I'll, <laughs> tell the, uh -oh. I'll tell the more experienced people in my office. <laughs> we know the that. historic society. Well, well, it doesn't have to be super elaborate. <laughs> right. Just a basic, you know, overview of, of how it's been and how it's evolved. Okay. Even even like that after after forty after forty years yeah, area right. agreement, uh, we we yeah, right. uh, Rollinsford opt, opted out in such such a year and uh, whatever. But, yeah. And you think the demographics of the town and the schools within the town are more worthy of keeping as well? Yes, um, but maybe some of the history. I knew that was going to be done. Yeah. <laughs> that's why, that's why it's it's in light fun. It was fun to try to read it. Yeah. Put it in that time. I thought it was really like, great. I learned something, <laughs> so it was, you know, it was educational. <laughs> um, and then the planning committee findings, I, I tried to go a little bit more in depth to give anybody who's reading it some feedback mm -hmm. as to, you know, you did have explore a lot of different. Mm -hmm. Avenues along the way, and, and I put in the, putting in the cost things that was really good. Yeah, yeah I tried it because I want people to be able to compare a little bit on what it's going to be. So, um, the proposed organization really is pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, when I went through it, I kept wanting to add something, and, and, and it really, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward plan, so. yeah. The advantages. Um, I, I think it was important to not only put down the immediate advantages, but it also does allow you some flexibility in the future mm -hmm. should you decide to explore other avenues at that particular point. So um, I think that's, that's a, a, quick a question. good advantage. Um, the proposed organization, um, form an independent SAU. Would we actually be forming? An SAU? I believe you would be an SAU and be provided with an SAU number. Okay. And then those services would be contracted. I see. 
thought we would just be so. So it would be SAU 56 would be in charge of, responsible for Summersworth and SAU 128. Okay. Or whatever that may be. Okay, thank you. So yeah, I was under I, that impression too, Aaron, and I, I mentioned it to Bob the other day, and he said, no, probably we'll be assigned a number. Okay. So if we get I can double check that, though. That would be good, because I think that then there's a decision about whether or not we we just stay SAU 56 as an in the name, from a name perspective, right? Or do you need to have extra other letterhead? Does anything on Well, that? remember, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be part of SAU 56 anymore. Right. You would be contracting with services with SAU 56, but you wouldn't be part of SAU 56. So most recently, I did not get notified that my son's balance for lunch was severely overdrawn. So I got a letter from SAU 56 saying, you know, Hey, here's some help if you need it, which was nice, um, but it came from SA 56. So what would a situation like that look Wouldn't it be like the wrong the school district? Because we'd still be that, right? Well, well, don't forget, SA 56, though, is going to be providing the services. So the letter may so come from SA you know, I'm, I'm not sure they need to have extra letterhead. I, I mean, I don't know. Well, I think that we would look at that yeah. because on our letterhead now it says SA 56 serving the communities of, and, yeah. and it would be serving the communities of, serving the community of Summersworth and <coughs> SA whatever Rollinsford. I mean, it would be identified on there. Yeah. Uh, perhaps in a different form, but it would still be identified on that. I don't think it's necessarily worth the buying new letterhead. Consider changing it when uh, the time comes to reorder. Yeah, in the meantime, well, and you would still be serving the communities of Summersworth and Rollinsford, even if you're serving Rollinsford as a contract service. The, the reality is that, that the letterhead, we don't purchase much letterhead anymore. It's, it's, it's electronically printed, it's printed, printed out. So. It's, a print, it's a printed letterhead that goes out when yeah. you yeah. Which is, people have learned. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's website changes, it's things yeah. like that. Oh, that sure. You know, as part of the transition costs, we, we probably need to consider it in some small portion, right? Or whether it just becomes absorbed as part of the contract that the, you know, it'll just be absorbed into the. Well, I mean, that, that's a, I'll get to it in a minute, but I, I you know, where the, where the liabilities and assets, I had, I had an interesting thought process with myself on that as well because it's I mean it's staying the same so right there's, there's not a lot of movement there other than the um, unexpected funds so do we need to under so you talk through the process within the proposed organization um, do we need to explicitly say that there would be no change to the SAU staff specifically as a result of this? Is there, or summers were, because we're supposed to be able to indicate any impacts on the other schools, school district, right, throughout this documentation. So I just don't know if we need to be more explicit about what is changing and what is not changing. I, I don't know. The staff remains intact. Because they're still providing the services to the same amount of. Well, let's remember that will be up to SAU 56 right, right, whether right. or not this whether or not we this can't say that tax. we can't make that indication that you know right to the right state. I, I, I would not put it in the proposal right. because we don't know that that's going to be right. the case personally. But there are if I didn't have anything to that effect, so we, we don't know. know. We don't know. Yeah, that's going to be the answer for a lot of it. And we do have impact. Impact the withdrawal in Summersworth, so I mean, mm -hmm. it's, okay. if there's anything that needs to be added, we could add that as well. They would also lose, not lose, but we would take take back our that component of the general the fund balance. The fund balance. Um, and and again, so that's under the, that's the disposition of assets and liabilities. Yeah. Um, and that's something that um, it would likely be given back to them uh, in the contract. I, uh, if I was them anyway, that would be one thing that I would be asking for. Essentially, it would act as a deposit from Rollinsford to the SAU. 
Well, well, we will. We, you know, well, that's certainly something Rollinsford could. Uh, I think it has to be, to be waived. I think it has to be laid out in the contract right. because most Everything. educational contracts like this don't have down payments on them. Like, you know, Marshwood didn't ask for a down payment when we started sending our kids. Right. Um, well, that's a tuition contract. Right? Well, that's true. But um, true enough. Um, but if the other assets that um, you know, Bob said the assets, we don't we don't have to take sixteen percent of the assets. Or, or, or wait a minute, they do belong to Rollinsford, so how do we take our 16% but then give them back to the SAU to use? Or do we? I mean, I think that's something we're going to have to work out contractually, what we do. Yeah. Like the iPads, right? The iPads, yeah. for instance, and uh, things like that. I know they seem small, but I don't know if they're anything right. at scale when you start to think that way. Right. There are other things we need to consider. Right, and, those are, and I don't think we even know all the things. I mean, I know the SAU has a, has a van. Uh, I don't know who owns it. Does the SAU own it? Does Summersworth own it? I don't. I don't know. It says SAU. Um, I know that came out of the ARA funds. I... I mean, so so there are things that we don't even know about that are assets, and if they remain, I think as Brian is saying, if they remain in the service of both communities. I think this is another good reason to negotiate the contract yeah. before yeah. we finish the plan and put it in because some of those things yeah. are going to have to be worked out. Yeah. So. yeah. Are we just going to, I mean, I feel like we're bouncing things around. Are there, I don't think there's a list somewhere that we can say, here's our questions. I think we're learning mm -hmm. them as we go. But I think this line of thinking is probably helpful for us to, Right yeah, this is going to be a very fluid document until yeah. until the point that we actually send it to the state. So right. <coughs> along the way, whether it's these discussions or something that gets generated in another meeting, we can make adjustments. Okay. Right. We're going to jump around, sorry, Bob. No, that's all right. Um, again, operating costs. Uh, I, In some ways, I kept feeling like I was doing this plan as a service because it wasn't in detail enough. But I mean, operating cost is that it's going to stay the same. We can put the RSA in there, or whatever the formula is. Mm -hmm. Certainly, to beat that, mm -hmm. I, I didn't get that yet. But it, it's it's going to be the same. I mean, the Im same thing with the impact of the withdrawal on Summersworth. It, it, it really is going to be a minimal impact because it, it's uh, one of the other interesting things that I, I talked to our attorney about was does it have typically if there's a vote on an, at an annual meeting there's one more budget cycle before the withdrawal takes place because usually there are some budget items that need to be put in for either buying the buildings or whatever it may be this it's is not, not that it's not the case here right so one of the one of the answers i haven't gotten back from our attorney yet is that if it's agreeable if the state approves it it, it gets voted in in rollinsford and it's agreeable to both rollinsford and summersworth can you just kick it off from july 1st mm -hmm. yeah that's because that's the timeline shows yeah right because there's not there's really no budget considerations because it's going to be the same budget so Right. The budget's going to be developed this year, and it's going to be in place already. Yeah. Um, but I, I need to get that final answer from our attorney whether we can actually jump in July 1st or whether it needs to go through one more cycle. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, I keep coming back to this is such a soft landing in your words that, you know, it's not a very complex plan. It's like going from owning a house to renting. That's it's like going from married to being living at sin. <laughs> the only no. thing that Summersworth is losing is the guarantee that, that Rollinsford will still be in a contract with Summersworth 20 years from now. It's just making it slightly easier for Rollinsford to walk away at some point in the future. Well, actually, actually, that's I, th I think you're both right. That, that, that it's easier to walk away from a rental than it is to sell your house and then right. move on than it is to get a divorce and move on. Um, but I, so I like those examples. I'm sure our, our, I'm sure the folks in town are going to love both that's examples, <laughs> as depending we, on where they sit. As, 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 as we roll them out, and and 
and, and we have to keep in mind that remember Summersworth wanted this, right? Yeah. And so and so they are giving up that assurance that we will be there every year. They are giving that up in order to say goodbye to us. And while we're gaining our freedom to look elsewhere, mm -hmm. depending on how long the contract is, um, we are losing a seat at the table right. for the for the SAU, right. albeit. Small because we were a minority, but there's no, you know, they don't have to include us in any of their. They won't even need to hold SAU meetings anymore. I don't believe they will it because an SAU is still a separate entity. So, I mean, but for all intents and purposes, they can hold an SAU meeting at six thirty and roll into their regular meeting at seven. So, yeah, they still have to handle SAU business. They still they have, have an SAU separate. board. It just happens to be the same, same one. Board. It's yeah. a single district. So this, this, this is, I, I mean, I, I don't know, it, it's, it's so, the plan is so simple and straightforward, I, I'll be happy to answer any other questions you have, or anything you think that needs to be in here. There's, there's one, oh, there was one of, in the, uh, I find it off, I uh, sent the last, the last, second to last sentence in the executive summary, some of the has stated that they want sole authority over SAU 56, and this move accomplishes that objective, while gaining Rawls for autonomy of choice. I, I, that, the last part seems very awkward to me, and I would like to, I don't know if anyone else uh, wants to uh, help you with Smith that, or uh, providing Rawls for autonomy. It's just awkward because it doesn't make any kind of sentence. That could. 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 Maybe that's it. That, that, you're right. It is, it is awkward to read it as a whole sentence. Yeah. Rawls for a little game. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's it. I'm looking at yeah. Aaron, Aaron our real words. No, I think that's perfect. Go back to page seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I think under five, the vote's going to be in March. Oh, that's right. Not in April, in March, right? Yeah. Five. Uh, right here. Uh, it's like the what is this? Like the tenth? Does anyone have a calendar? Mm -hmm. I, I had it looked like I apparently yeah. left my phone at home, so. I March tenth. Okay. We want to have the actual date there and in the timeline to shut the lights down except the phone. Oh yeah, she yes. says the door will be locked. All we do, all we do is just flip the flip the light. I said Brian knows. Right. <laughs> she was telling, explaining it to me, and I said, Ah, Brian knows. <laughs> and I think you know that certainly the final recommendation very nicely summed up in that one sentence. You agree, Jan and other folks? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's great. It's simple because it can be simple. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, that's the part that I really yeah. straightforward. So the RFA says we need to indicate how we're going to provide superintendent services, which I think is covered. Okay. Um, the, um, the plan, uh, the transfer plan and timeline. So <coughs> probably, I mean, that's here. And then um, the budgets and staffing. Now, I don't know if we need to do any before and after views. I don't know if the funding coming into SAU 56 as a contract looks different than it coming in as a... Well, we won't know until the contract is negotiated roughly what the cost is. I mean, we can... Well, we should know that by the time we're going to negotiate prior to putting this in. Yeah. Theoretically, we know, but the ideally, we would have right. some and of the contract negotiation done. Until, it's a, until the contract agrees, until there's a contract saying that it's, we're going to use the existing formula, right. um, then we Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but I mean, there aren't any, there aren't any hidden expenses. Right. right. So make sure we, yeah, plan 
include providing superintendent services, which meet the requirements of RSA 194C4, and a transition plan and timeline, which includes consideration of the transition of budgets and staffing for the withdrawing district, and is signed by at least a majority of the membership of the planning committee. Um, of the withdrawal of the planning committee? Was that the withdrawal committee? Yes, yeah, I believe so, where it considered the planning committee. Okay. At least that's what I've seen. Is the see, see, this is where it, it gets more complex if you were to create your own SAU, because mm -hmm. then you would have to, you would have to demonstrate the budget this year as it stands. You would have to do demonstrate summer's worth budget next year, without your part of it, and then you would have to, do, you would have to demonstrate what your budget is going to be and how those services are being applied. Right. It's all one entity. Um, if we feel like it's meeting the requirements, then I feel like it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. When I make adjustments, I, I'll do the same thing. I'll go back okay. through the RSA again and make sure that each of those bullet points are taken yeah. care of. Um, I don't know if any, if, cause like you said, a lot of the other withdrawal plans like this are much more complex. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if there's anyone that's as simple as, as this is. Um, for us to just look at. Well, I looked at Franklin and Hill because Hill was a, a, a small town like Rollinsford as well, pulling out of Franklin. Um, but theirs was a little different as well because I think they formed their own SAU, so they've got part time. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Anyone have any other comments, questions? Just continue to work on it. Yeah, I'll continue to put stuff in and, and revise it and, and uh, certainly make that, that first section that we talked about, make some changes there on the background and some information there. Um, and then I'll send it out to every, everybody. And if anybody has any suggestions, edits, anything at all, just send it back to me and I'll, I'll revise it again. Is there a contact at the Department of Education? this by prior to the formal submission. Yeah, I'll find out. I'll find out who actually I, I could uh, whether the whether the state board chair would be the one that I talked to or the commissioner himself. I can find out. It might just be worth while to understand if there are questions. Alright, so it sounds like tomorrow night Summersworth School Board he'll be able to be able to share the staff and that this is our plan forward. Thursday, I can come to the school board meeting. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that there's one that has that says Summersworth essay withdrawal plan that basically has the uh, things just reversed a little bit. They don't have to. Um, actually, no. Oh, that's right. They're not withdrawing. This is our withdrawal plan. They're, right? yeah, they're, right. they're in. Uh, that's in right. Sorry. They're, they're letting their committee rest. They're on pause. <laughs> they're on pause. Right. They're on pause. So um, I think it makes sense for us, and we were going to talk a bit about communications tonight, And but I think it sounds like by the end of November, we'll have a lot more language and more meat to share. Um, so does it make sense maybe mid-November to get, I don't, I don't know any other intermediate steps between now and really getting ready for the Warren article on the so well, well, the, the, well, the next the, the next step is is that, that there's a contract that becomes part of this plan, and then one final review of the plan before it goes off by right. the whole committee reviewing the plan. I would think, right? With that. Yeah, I would say that the, the the next step okay. is just that it is Rollinsford reaching out to the Summersworth board, setting up a time that, that they can get together and negotiate a contract, getting a final contract approved by the attorney. And then at that point in time, it would be a good time for this committee to come back together, look at the look at the final contract, look at the final plan, get it all together, and chip it out. Right, and we need to do that by the end of November. Right, ideally. Right, and then would we do a forum again before the vote? It will be it, because it will be a warrant article. Yeah. It will be part of all of the school board presentations, and it would be great to have sort of a subset. Uh, a you know, subset case. of this committee, or, or, or as many of this committee as want to, uh, you know, present whatever they want to on that warrant article. The school board will invite. Um, like, I'm is assuming. That the, the is board. that the town meeting meeting or the 
So we no more, we no longer have that. We only speak. have to live, so we have mm -hmm. so we have the present we have the presentation of the budget. Right. It wouldn't be there. The, the, well, they also see warrants. I mean, they, you know, the budget committee also looks at warrants, and this will be in essence a money warrant because we have a contract to approve, and more more than likely a multi-year contract. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, that's a possibility. That'll be there. So, so, so that's one opportunity to speak to some people. Then, so then there's the so the budget committee's public hearing is the first hearing, and if we have a warrant ready by then, we may not because that usually happens in um, that in December or early, early January. Then there's the school board's deliberative session, where where everything, all the warrants are fine. Or, Right. They're representing, are there, and any uh, petition warrant articles are all there. So, so there'd be those two opportunities. And there's also a, a, uh, opportunities for updates at school board meetings as well. Right. I mean, to, just to get information out. Obviously, you're not going to hold a whole forum, but mm -hmm. you could still get some information out that way as well. And then we'll talk about mailers, and I mean, and again, the school board usually does a mailer on all, all the warrants. Which includes everything from the operating uh, budget to the, and if there's a negotiated collective bargaining agreement, you know, all those things go on. I think if we have any funds left, we should do a separate mailer just for this. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. From the the budget that we set aside for the withdrawal committee, mm -hmm. because there's that there's so much information we can, you know, the way Caitlin put it together was wonderful. We could do like a half page or even a full page, um, just with just the facts that we need to get out there to so people see right away. Cost I, the I same, understand, the right? Same I understand this, and yeah. Is this a contract year for the teachers in Rollinsburg? Every year is a contract year for the teachers. We have not had a multi-year contract in ten years. Wow. Yeah. Because <laughs> the teachers don't want it, or because the school board doesn't want it. The town has not wanted one. Yeah, we, we've, we, we tried a couple times. <laughs> I'm trying to find us. That it's in the 21st century. Well, they did, only it was uh, just around 2008 when the bottom fell out of um, the right. economy. And uh, once burned, twice shy. Um, I do have a note from Caroline as well that there's a, um, a newsletter going out. Um, submissions yes. are due October 21st. Yes, and I thought I thought that submission because uh, they should be should be just on this. Yeah. Because we really don't have any other news. Okay. So if we could get something a, a good short bulleted blurb, that would be perfect. If someone more on work, I, I meant to ask that tonight. Thank you for bringing that up. No problem. I knew I had something in mind. That, that that could take the school and the you know the school and, and the, yeah could do this. Will you prove that if I write? Right. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> I was going to volunteer, but that's oh you can volunteer. You can take it. No, I'd, I'd love to prove it. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to prove your bullet. <laughs> or what? It, you know, whatever. We can collaborate. Yes, we can collaborate. Perfect. All right, so we'll get that out by the twenty first. So we'll probably book that sometime next week. Mm -hmm. By the end of by the beginning of next week. Um, so that would go out and at least be. Uh, Quick ping. We have the editor. And remember, that goes out in November. Or that goes out in December. With the tax bill. Right? It goes out with the tax bills. So we have to, the timing is such that um, yeah. that'll be the only one. That's the only one that'll go out through the town. Um, through that's through a the tight town. deadline. Through the town. Twenty one. If it's going out in December. Just saying. If she sent it to me on the twentieth. Um, I, I, I have it for a little bit. I have to. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, uh, that's my fault. And it goes mid November crazy. through May, which is, yeah. that's what you're saying. The time goes yeah. till yeah. May. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Um, all right, so we got that. So then when do we, when do we think we would want to get back together? Do we want to target a date or do we want to wait and see where we're at? I think you might want to play that by year. Yeah. Um, if the, if the con as soon as the contract's done, uh, we could we could touch base and then set the meeting at that point. How long do you think that's is that a couple of sessions? I'm between? getting it could it could be one, but I'm gonna guess two. Okay. All right. I'm used to corporate negotiations with take forever. So it's good. Yeah, because you're probably gonna to wanna to get things on the table, get it get it hashed out and then throw it in front of the attorney and have them look at it and then have one more meeting after that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So maybe we can target the week of the probably next week. That would be the minimum, would be my guess. It would be great if we could have that at least the week before 
Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's late. The 20th this year. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's good to have Thanksgiving The holidays always come too soon, <laughs> so the later <laughs> they are, the better, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think it would be great if we could do that, and then we'll ramp up again once we get towards the end of the year, beginning of the next year. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great. So, any other, we probably have to talk to Joe about, because Joe will be presenting this back, or will you present this back to the budget committee? How does that work? Well, um, the budget committee, it yeah. would be Joe as the, as the, as the, uh, okay. as, as the rep. Okay. Um, Aaron, this piece of it. Right? No, Emily, no Emily, is. Emily is. Okay. Um, so, I mean, just, uh, I, I'm not, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't. Whatever he feels his responsibility is to report back. Yeah. Okay. That, that's the. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. Just because it sounds like there's a presentation of the budget that would have this in it, so we want to make sure Joe has what he needs, right? Um. Yes. <laughs> um. Well, we won't. Um. When, when we present the budget, we will. We will. We hopefully will have a contract. So right. we will have a budget and we'll say this is what it will cost if it all is all approved. Right. Right. I know it's all contingent. Yeah. Everything's so and, and if it's this year, we don't have to go through another we don't have to go through another uh, voting cycle. I mean, it's, uh, right. Okay. But one way or another the figure's gonna be in there. Yes. And one way or another we're gonna pay that figure. <laughs> Whether summer's worth well, it yeah, carries well, us whether, whether for another year. year or not, absolutely. So as far as right. the budget committee goes, I mean, we'll have the SAE budget done and be That's in true. your budget. I mean, the number's going to be there, so. Yeah. And we think the yeah. number is similar that it's been. It's the 16%. Yeah, I think it's, it, yeah, so it, it's it, not it, a surprise. It's very, very little over the past 10 years. So it's, it's, it's not a surprise, surprise figure to the residents that, yeah. oh my gosh, look at this. No. Yeah. But it's going to come through as a separate warrant, which is... A little yeah. bit more of a burn when you have to look at the number as opposed to when it's just included in the operating budget. Yeah, yeah, essentially it's going to be removed from our operating budget. <coughs> right. I, I guess. Maybe they should be a little asterisk. But, well, well, it won't be removed from our, from our operating budget. Right. When it becomes contractual, it, it's actually going to stay there because the Marshwood tuition stays there. We have, we have a contract saying what it is, but we have the budget for it in our operating budget. It will stay in our operating budget. So. Yeah, there's not going to be a change. That would be the same. You know, it isn't. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right. 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 It's you, sir. It's going to be the same. Part, and it's so. a, it's an interesting thing to say. Well, we contract <coughs> with Marshwood, and so now we're going to contract with. You know, we've already mm -hmm. we're in a contract with a school district, so it's not that unusual for us. Right, and it's all contained in the, the operating budget. Correct. Yeah. The same number. Right. In, the, in this case, the same number. All of our contracts are actually within the operating budget. <laughs> yes. All of our contracts. Okay. Any other questions, things you guys want to talk about? Ask Nancy and Charlie if they have anything. The public? Nancy, Charlie, do you guys have anything? No. Okay. All right. You guys... Also, mm -hmm. you'll just let us know for the next meeting. Yeah, we're we'll working. You'll okay. see drafts <laughs> right, as we start to work through more drafts. Yeah, as soon as I get anything changed, I'll ship it out. All right. Okay. Great. Okay. Thanks. All right, and on and on Thursday we'll be. Uh, um, we don't really have to come, to Jen. I mean, we can report. It's up to you. If you're there, you're fine. And if you're not, that's fine too. Um, okay. The school board will take will take its the responsibility then to talk about contracting. I think. Um, you know, I'll speak as the chair now. I mean, I'd, I'd be happy to hear um, anyone's suggestions of what they think should be in the contract, just so we can make sure we don't we don't leave something out. Be happy to hear from any members of the committee, and I will actually send out. I can send an email, or after we meet on Thursday, mm -hmm. um, we can send out an email to say that people have to, because this committee has been through all the all the bits and pieces. So you might have some thoughts on things that you might forget. So. Is there a straw man from another another contract from another school that we can look at? I'm sure there is. I'm sure I can probably even find one on a couple of them. Um, yeah. I can see if I can find Middleton. Because okay. Middleton just did it with uh, Governor Wentworth. Yeah, it, yeah, it might be on they might be online too, but that would be good. That's a great idea, Jen. Thank you. 
get an idea. I'm not aware of that. But are we going by the RSA? Yes. Yeah. But, but, but there might be things that we may want to include in it that, that are not just in the RSA. Yeah, I bet you did ask the principal or maybe Bob would know that, you know, those little... Yeah, let me find out who the uh, legal firm is for Middleton, too. Okay. Because if they negotiated the contract, obviously they'll have... It'll be a good template to look at to see if there's anything we haven't thought of yet. Mm -hmm. If they laid it out. Yeah. You know, we yeah. have to that. Or it's just a general statement. And one thing that was customary time. services from our conversations is selection of a new superintendent. Like, what would we want our part to be in that? Even though we don't have a vote at the table, maybe we'll invited to, to interview. Well, do we have a, do, do we, or, 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 yeah, yeah that, I mean, or, 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 or if a new superintendent is about, if they need to hire a new superintendent, does that give us, you know, a different opt out? If, if it's not the people we're used to. I mean, all sorts of things mm -hmm. I think we have to think about putting in, so, yeah. All right. Well, I apologize. We falsely asked up a little bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, we didn't add. Uh, nothing was formal. We didn't formal. Mm -hmm. So, 722? Good. I don't all think right. you should get caught up in the minutiae, though, because I think that would drive us crazy. Yeah. Good. 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 Good.